Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Ike and we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore Mode where we're trying to stop the market attack today. Um, it is act number three. We have upgraded all of our um, agents. The last ones are currently training and once that's done the eight out of the eleven that we've selected will be fully ready and also fully equipped today. We do have a single encounter mission and we're going with a very similar team um, as we did before. I wanted to try something uh, having Verge and essentially Shelter in a single team. Um, I am asking myself uh, to which degree that might influence um, our ability to fight against robotic units. So really double checking how well they play together. Um, for me, um, it's at the moment more uh, a testing ground to see which of the combinations are really strong and not just running the same combination over and over. Just to get a feel if the theory behind it actually materializes in the missions. Sacred coil brought bombs to Riverside. Stop them from detonating the whole market. Well, that seems easy enough. All units get plus 25 during the breach. Cheer up goes in first. We're getting an aim bonus um, secondly. And we can't use the cease fire bomb. Nope, can't use it. All right, good enough. Let's go. So we are having a few enemies that are going to take shots at us. At us. Perfect uh, option to load or shield. Okay, so the Guardian probably should be our first target. Purifier is a great target as well. The Ronin is another great target. You know what? Let's start with a Purifier. we kill it? Yeah, it appears that way. Good, next up, let's get the Guardian down. And thanks to Phalanx, we can simply go in. Got two charges, which is perfect. Now, how do we want to do uh, that? I think Blue Blood should get a turn. I furthermore think we should definitely supercharge. Supercharging. supercharging. And who should we kill? Commando is a good one, Turt not so much. I think the Ronin is an excellent target. The Andromedon is also a pretty damn good target. Yeah, let's go for the Andromedon. Because uh, the melee form of the Andromedon will not reach us. Am I seeing three enemies in a straight line? Well, yes, but I'm also seeing face off for one, two, three, 
four, five, six enemies, which is arguably better. Good, so... Let's prime the Ronan up here. Good. He's ready to be killed. What else? Uh, that's a kill. That's most likely a kill. That's most likely a kill. That's not yet a kill, so preparing that. Perfect, and thanks to the supercharge, we are just completely defying the normal damage limits. I don't know guys, I like cheer up. He enables blue blood quite well. If I'm seeing those kinds of encounters where we are essentially moving in and you can you can load your shield and the encounter like seriously uh, that's turn 2. And I wanted to test if shelter and verge will have problems against against uh, mechanical units it turns out the answer is no because there is no one left after the first turn wow that was some bad aim right there Yeah, I. Yeah, it's it's actually a problem. The amount of the amount of damage that you're dealing compared to what the enemies are um, are bringing to the table. If you're using your cooldowns, it's ridiculously easy, even on a higher difficulty. So this mission taught me nothing other than blue blood is and and his face off is completely busted. I don't know. All right. Who took it? Who took what? 12 pounds of food in the fridge? That's a very specific number. I waited after I caught it. What exactly did you catch? You ask as though you expect my answer to be cat. I don't know, and I don't want to know. Useless. But I have ruled out a suspect. The dual training doesn't work super well. Um, we often deselect a an all trainings member and interrupt their training, which sucks. So I'm trying to uh, take equally long training for both of them. Let us maybe take the Illyrium and get 600 Illyrium. Yeah, why not? And let us maybe also get 100, in, uh, 100 uh, credits here. Cherub, your mind is... I have never experienced anything like it. Thanks, man. Good to know I'm a one-of-a-kind clone. You broadcast what you think, as you think it. Doesn't everyone? Rarely. Communication often requires layers of caution, self-delusion, and mutually agreed upon deception. Sounds like a lot of work. I'd rather say what I mean so I can get to the important stuff. And that is? The sunrise, waffles, laughter, wood smoke, you know, living. I am beginning to understand you. Good, we got new items. Lift Grenade levitates all vulnerable units in the affected area, which removes any cover bonus. I like it, uh, but it does not take their turns away. And Turncoat Grenade forces all effective enemies to go berserk. View their allies as enemy units and mechanical... Well, that's actually a good grenade. It depends on uh, the size of its radius, though. 
uh, I'll buy one and see how well it performs. Got another scavenger load here. AP rounds. Um, they are pretty good, but uh, surprisingly enough, not that many enemies have armor. Uh, the plasma grenades uh, worked also quite well. And there is a superior autoloader that's definitely going to be a purchase from our side. Because it finally um, gives Axiom the ability to reload multiple times. And just so we do have enough um, opportunity to switch and enough variety, I'll just buy all of the items. Superior autoloader, that's exactly what he needed. That means three times um, auto-loading, which is pretty good. I like the motile inducer. That was, oh no, uh, she's not on a mission. I don't want to bug the game again. Um, as for the ones that are on missions, I think we can get rid of the train grounds. I could see the AP rounds helpful for him, but I also could see the turnaround grenade being a thing. So let's let's try to do that. Radius twelve. Flashbang has a oh well, that's a great radius. The flashbang radius is is large as well. Yeah, so let's give it a try. I like it. Uh, the Venom rounds worked well. I like the Acid rounds almost a bit better. Can you? Can we build them? Because the Acid rounds worked against every target. Venom rounds, Trank rounds, Tracer rounds, the Talon rounds was extra damage. No, they we did not, uh, we could not uh, build them. The two ammunitions that I like the most, I think, are Caustic rounds. Um, that's the one with the Acid Burn, and we cannot build them yet. Um, yeah, the caustic rounds were very good. AP rounds were also pretty damn good. So those two, I think, are my personal favorites so far. Good. What's the next mission, guys? We do have... Actually have to take that one here almost. Blue screen rounds. I don't know them yet. So I definitely would like to take that mission. Plus we don't want any revolution or any unrest over here. Let us also... Should we freeze that one or should we freeze that one? There's potential for unrest in the fringe. <clears throat> but that would counter three unrest right away, right? Hmm. Now, let's pause it here. I, I don't want any unrest to reach critical levels. And we can reduce it with Vigilance next turn anyways. And we're going to do this mission here for blue screen rounds. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much 
uh, set up two superior scopes superior expanded magazines for the ones that are taking shots regularly uh, he probably could have a bit better um, uh, a bit better weapon equipment but it's fine so far reflex grip and superior expanded magazine yeah i think the weapons are really good we do have he still has trank rounds why does he still have trank rounds because the game is not realizing what you're trying to do it sometimes just gives you the wrong items Yeah, I think the Android is okay equipped. We, I, we've never used it. Anyways, our mission today, uh, two encounters and there might be neo, uh, neo chrysalids on the mission. That's fine. I don't mind that. The last encounter um, actually showcased how strong the team is in uh, once you have everyone on level 5. It feels that... They've probably deliberately made every character so strong that you almost can't screw it up on uh, once you're level 5. It's just so much damage that you're dealing with. That contraband is under heavy guard. Okay, last unit through the entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. That's fine. Cheer up goes in first as per the usual. Um, Verge gives us a, you know what, no, uh, we're, we want to uh, prevent them from shooting back, Verge and Shelter will take three and four, alright, let's go, lots of weapons are disabled, and we're looking at what? Completely non-ready enemies. Cobra, Guardian, Trooper. I almost like to go for the Guardian first. Didn't fully work out. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, let's get the Guardian down, because he would elsewise give everyone a shield, making it subsequently more difficult to deal with everyone. Shelter gets a kinetic shield, because he has Overwatch, and I want the Overwatch to be successful. Got a bomber over here. Uh, let's start priming the bomber. I like that. He's poisoned. Cool, he needed to reload. That's perfect. That overwatch worked well. Perfect kinetic shield. Worked like a charm. Gotta deal with the Andromedon though. Okay, this here looks like an awesome lance through all three of them. Problem is we're too far away, but it would be so good. Ah, uh, you know, can't help myself, but taking the high ground over here. A 
Let's try to prime the Andromedon. That worked out well. And we might as well take face off. All right, the bomber is dead. Okay, fair enough. Good, now it's the Verge's turn. Go about that. I think we can do it the following way. Cobra is being taken out. Trooper takes a shot, maybe he kills the android. And we're starting to regenerate. That's good enough. Fair enough. Shelter will get his revenge. Positioning himself over here. In a much better spot. And then essentially draining the life force. We can give a shield to the Birch. And let's take the Bruiser out. Holy shit, okay. All right, healing ourselves. Fair enough. That was a good hit. And we're moving back to here. Got a nice little overwatch. Interesting to see that he still shreds us, although it directly goes into the shield. points of acid damage if you're continuing to stay in acid. That is nasty. Alright, moving over here. We definitely need to um, hit the Andromedon first. One thing that we haven't done so well in the mix, or one thing that's not working so well in the mix team if we're not um, if we're not keeping them unconscious is that his mind link will not produce um, will not produce enough um, healing okay 
Okay, Shelter can heal himself. We gotta deal with the Andromedon. I'll use Fanfire. Although it's a bit wasteful. Let's try to kill this guy. I can make it there. Good move. One angle cover. Okay, not absolutely perfect turn. I would have thought that that would work much better. But to be honest, the um, Andromedon has hit us quite well. Good. Last unit gets plus 3 damage. Holo scanner, yes please. Med kit, yes please. And blue blood. Okay. Reaching in. Throwing grenade. All right. We don't want to fight the bomber, so I'll just put the phalanx up. Cobra, good target. Ronan, good target. Android, good target. Uh, Chrysalid, probably the target that we should take. Let's go for that. Yeah, that's one nice shot. Good, either the Cobra or the Ronin. I think we're going for the Ronin. Yeah, good idea. We're here for that target. Take it and run. All right, we're getting blue blood up here. Cheer Up and Blue Blood are really a damn strong combination, specifically if you're supercharging. So that's what, two... Ooh, look at that. Oh, there's a chrysalid hiding in there. So we could hit two. Let's destroy this chrysalid first. Just barely short. All right, that's good enough. And that is dropping the hammer. Oh, 
covering the distance. <laughs> Not good enough. Uh, let's take out the bomber first. Stun for one. Okay. That was hilarious. Uh, that was the Berserk Grenade, by the way. Absolutely hilarious. Alright, shelter. You know what? Why not? It's the last encounter anyways. Might as well use the ultimates. Relocating the Cobra. Nice. Soul fire to get the bomber down. I don't know why we can't use Wrath. Oh, because we're full. That makes a lot of sense. But we could use Chain Shot. Alright, kinetic shield. Let's get the purifier down. Didn't fully work as expected. Turtling. Okay, moving up here, that'll give us Overwatch. Well, somehow we can't uh, really see the chrysalid. Let's get our people on the target. Yeah, why not? This might even get rid of, of the cover. Good, and now we only need to flee. That's easy enough. Yep, one of them down right away. We move. Covering flanks. 
Yeah, overall the encounter went okay. Let's just move out of here. Overall the encounter went well. I noticed that Virch's uh, ability to self-heal uh, somewhat, degra somewhat degrades if you do not um, deliberately just stun the targets. So probably when we're working together with him, we need to use Trank armor more, Trank, Trank ammunition more, because else he's um, he's getting less healing. Or we simply need to accept that he gets less healing. That's of course the alternative, right? On the other hand, the different ammunition, it's a good question, I mean, we might as well also simply give him um, the hit point regeneration weave, that's good enough. So that way he would have regeneration, but I actually liked his neural network and just how strong the regeneration is overall. And I also like capturing enemies, so yeah, I'm torn. The ammunition specifically, the one that's poisoning and the one that's uh, dealing, that's dealing um, acid damage is having a substantial a damage increase. I mean, uh, they deal plus one damage per shot and plus two on the turn of the enemy when they're poisoned or as acid acidically, yeah, acided. So I think the increase in damage definitely justifies using them. Um, and it's not like Virch wouldn't uh, get any healing. He still gets uh, two healing at the end of his turn. Um, the puppeteering is pretty good. I did. Here's another idea. Let me just double check something in hindsight. So looking at the agent's abilities. Maybe I should have gone with co uh, color in the build. Um, which in the short term would, uh, wouldn't have been that great because crowdsource with the extra critical strike chance is really good. But forcing them to be unconscious is is amazing. If you have str uh, if you have uh, different ammunition and the ammunition is really good. So everyone would simply be unconscious and I can still go for network healing because I'm definitely convinced that network healing is the better is the better choice so probably in hindsight i would go um, levitation into collar and uh, then into healing network um, that would make him even a stronger agent well that's the disadvantage of uh, the first time playing you never really truly know what a uh, what a good um, skill set is Ballistic Foam increases the Android's total hit points by two. Well, okay, cool, good for the Android. Increase Android's mobility by one and uh, increase Android's hit points and armor by two. You know what? There you go. Not sure if we ever fully equipped it. Upgrade. Vision, no. Processor, no. More mobility, okay. Enhanced Android processing. Well, that's probably the other upgrade that we're currently researching. I never had been a huge um, friend of the Androids because here's the deal. I mean, the Androids is uh, if you struggle with the missions and if you uh, if you get knocked out, I, I like the idea that there is another operative whom you could uh, get um, 
let's say you're on a kind of three-step mission and you're getting knockout in the first uh, in the first area it makes it more realistic that you can actually complete the entire mission on the other hand hmm, is it really necessary probably not let's take away the entirety of all unrest here And we're doing this right here. 100 credits, yes. The city's Andromedon sanctuary finally admitted the obvious. Rogue Andromedons joined a sacred coil. Stop them before their actions turn into a recruitment drive. There we go. Perfect Android mechanics. Well, it feels like we're probably producing something that is unnecessary because we're simply getting the better items right afterwards. So, might as well wait until we get the better items. Good, and here's another interesting mission, Bomb Threat. But given that we are already 45 minutes in, I think that is something which we're going to do the next time. Making sure that we're keeping the unrest at bay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We're going to see each other in the next mission. Don't forget to share some love and hit that like button if you enjoyed the run so far. And um, please um, tune in tomorrow. Bye-bye.